What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the Real Key TV. I know you can tell by the title. What we about to talk about? I already know. Because we're gonna get into it, but before we get into it, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe, sis. All right, you guys, so you can tell by the title what we're going to be discussing today. So a couple weeks ago, I asked you guys to send me questions and topics to talk about in between my vlogs because I wanted to do, you know, different fun videos for you guys. So somebody sent me this topic I'm ready to get into because sis got her tea because I'm trying to get into it. I'm trying to see what's tea with y'all with this bad customer service. Okay, first off, let's just say everybody want to be a business owner but don't nobody want to do what it takes to operate like one okay that's the issue we want to be called a business owner we want to be called the boss but we don't even know how to operate like a boss like it's cool to have bomb products bomb services you lay my wig down my installs you got this bomb quality clothes whatever but what's not cute is that i gotta reach out to you to make money why am i chasing you down in 2022 why why are you responding back to me 7 to 14 business days why i understand we all got you know things going on whatever the case may be but sis bro why why am i having to chase you down okay but first off let's let's talk about that why am i chasing you down to make money Huh? I don't understand it. Like, why am I reaching out to you for a tracking number? Why? I don't understand. And then y'all got the nerd to respond back seven to fourteen business days after the fact. After I reached out, I understand we got things going on outside of being business owner, but you signed up for this, so you can make sure that you got things in place. Just in case you can't really respond back right then. Okay, I can see maybe a couple of hours later or a day later or whatever. But we going longer. <laughs> like, we going 7 14 business days longer. Sis, I don't understand. And then y'all got the nerve. Let me tell y'all. Y'all got the nerve <laughs> to hold these people products after they done paid. Why why they didn't pay and you still like, haven't even shipped out their stuff? Why? And then they gotta reach back out to you to remind you to do this, but you a business longer though. Why? I don't understand. Like that's one thing about King. I don't care how bomb your products are. I don't care how you can slay my hair, slay my wig, how bomb your clothes or the quality. If your customer service sucks, I'm not coming back. This, now this is just me. It takes me one time to be like, oh no, I ain't messing with her ever again. Or oh no, I can't, I can't mess with bro. You probably may have gotten back when I live. Who come back? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I can't come back. Like when I say you should always make sure that your customer's experience is great from the beginning to the end. But what's happening is we get at the beginning and then we kind of skip in the middle and then we try to hit the end. No, I'm already talking about what you did at the beginning. <laughs> then you add the most of all to it. And I'm like, no, nah. you already got three strikes. Now you out. Okay. And I know some what's bad is that the fact that you will have some business owners that will be like, well, I already built my customers. I already got a team. I already got people behind me. So they're not really tripping off if one customer or two decide not to go with them. And that's not good because you should care. Some of y'all take y'all products and things, services more serious than your actual customers. Like you make sure I got a bomb product, but you're not making sure my experience is great. Like I done went through so much just to get the product. So by the time I get it, it's like, bruh, I can't stop talking about what how my experience was. 
and y'all don't care about that. That's the issue. Like we want to be called a boss. We want to be called this business owner, but we don't even know how to operate like one. We got this stuff going on, but we don't know how to talk to people. That's the issue. On top of me having to track you down and make money. Me having to constantly reach out to you to remind you to give me something that you already know I purchased two weeks ago. Why are you just not send my package out? It's a little favoritism because you know we got these loyal customers and we make sure they're good. But if you're not really loyal customer, we try to do them in any kind of way. That ain't cool. You need to make sure everybody's good from beginning to the end. Before I even started my business, of course, you know, I um, want to be in the hair industry, want to have my own hair company, right? So I'm going on these stylist pages, these business owners that got hair companies or whatever. I'm in their comment section, boo, okay? I'm trying to figure out what these people talking about, what they complaining about, what are they liking, what are they not liking, what are they looking for? So by the time I done, you know, got myself together, I'm like, okay, I know I'm not doing that because listen, I'm trying to stay on game. I'm trying to stay on top of it. I'm trying to see what y'all complain about. I'm trying to learn from their mistakes so that when I do it, I can just skip on over their mistakes. You feel me? And then too, even though you're a business owner, you still a customer. Think about it. You buying from Amazon, you buying from Target, Walmart, whatever. You still a customer. So what did you think about First off, let me throw this in there. People that want to start a business, you want to be a business owner? Let me tell you what you need to do. Think about, to help you with the customer service, think about what you like and what you didn't like as a customer. What were some things that was like, oh, dang, my that, that was a great experience. Or like, or it was like a, I ain't, I, I'll make sure I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, learn from other business owners' mistakes because half of them broadcasting their mistakes. I mean, you can see clear as day the mistakes they're making. So that by the time you get up there and you know get your own business, you can move from move over those mistakes because you already been watching them. Like look at what other people are doing and make sure that you don't do what they doing. You know what I'm saying? It's all about standing out. What makes your business stand out? Okay. But child, y'all have to do better with this customer service. Okay, I don't know. We need to do a class. Y'all out here doing all these classes. Who? Maybe I need to come up with a class on customer service. <laughs> maybe I need the. Maybe I need to do that. Maybe I need to come out with a class on how to have great customer service. Cause nobody doing it. We we make it all kinds of classes, but we're not trying to teach people how to make sure that they keep these customers. It's all you want those returning customers. You don't want those customers that be like, mm, I ain't never coming back. Cause I'm one of them. I'm that type of customer. If my experience is not good from the beginning to the end, not good here and there a little bit. Okay, she she did send me this or no. I need it from the beginning to the end. Okay? Like no. So we gotta do better. Okay, we have to better at this because it's 2022 and y'all shouldn't took that bad because we started in 2022. Who chat? If y'all feel me, hit that bell, okay? Comment down below saying you feel me, okay? Because ain't no way I'm the only one that feel this way. And then I can't be because that's the question that I got in my inbox to talk about. <sighs> y'all do better. Okay, you have to do better. All right, but I won't make this video too long. I can go on and on about this topic, but I'm gonna just stop right there because, child. But anyways, you guys, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, if you feel me, hit that bell, hit the notification bell so you be notified every time I post, as well as hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, sis. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Thank y'all for coming to Real Key TV. And I'll catch you guys a little bit later.